Here is the current experimental setup. We have a bagel coil with a xenon tube in the middle of it. We have a Tesla coil that runs at 3 megahertz. The bagel coil field is run with the um, heater voltage from a microwave oven transformer. And uh, here we go. Bagel coil field is on. I assume everyone wants the lights off to see better. That blue light is from the Tesla coil. Sorry about that getting in the way. And there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of any interaction from the bagel coil. Although, let's unplug it. The hum goes away. That's how you can tell it's off. And yeah, that looks like it does pretty much the same thing. So, no interaction there. Anyway, next experiment is going to be running the same sort of thing, but instead of activated by the Tesla coil, it will be um, activated with microwaves. My last experiment with open-air microwaves was um, wildly unpopular from a safety point of view, so I reinstalled the magnetron in the microwave oven. It is set up as a variable um, output microwave oven. Uh, when I ran the open air test, it was running at very low power. Uh, I think it actually is more of an exposure risk here, but you know, it looks a lot safer. We'll see what I get. I still need to run lead in wires there. And I might also point out that these experiments are dealing with new sorts of physics and things that are unknown. These are entirely unsafe to be playing with. Now, this bagel coil, just with the um, five watts that's going into it, uh, I will feel that impact me potentially days later. It doesn't burn me, it doesn't seem to hurt, but I certainly feel it. So remember, this stuff is unsafe. You run this at um, 7 megahertz at 100 watts, and that burnt me. So remember, these things are not toys, um, and it burnt me days later. It floated around. Even this is 24 watts out at 3 megahertz. That is... Um, potentially could get into the field and you would have a 60 cycle and 3 megahertz combination and I assume that's going to be potentially very harmful so um, anyway maybe as a random point if you think the bagel coil fields are the quarks and that's what makes up our reality and it's all running at the same frequency because if it's not running at that frequency then they'll pass through each other um, from a shaman point of view looking at things, I am fairly convinced our reality is a two-frequency harmonic. So I think it is just like something like what, you know, 60 cycles being put into it and then 3 megahertz being imposed on it. You've got two separate frequencies in there. I'm not sure that works out in the math. I'd love for somebody to tell me if it will or not. But um, anyway, like I said, from a shaman point of view, I think our play, our world is a double frequency type thing, which means I easily could have just created one of these accidentally as a double frequency, and nobody knows what the heck that going, is going to do. So anyway, careful, don't reproduce unless you're willing to risk a lot, and be very safe about things. Anyway, I have a background in electrical engineering, physics, uh, radio and microwave work, uh, I do know what I'm doing. But if you don't, don't play with this stuff. Even if you do, it's totally new. New realms. We don't know what we're dealing with exactly. Or how safe it is. So be careful, everyone.